In 1999, an estimated 5,000 deaths, 325,000 hospitalizations and 76 million illnesses were caused by foodborne illnesses within the U.S. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention began tracking outbreaks starting in the 1970s. By 2012 the figures were roughly 130,000 hospitalizations and 3,000 deaths. Topic. 1850s The swill milk scandal leads to the deaths of 8,000 babies in one year alone. Topic 1963 Two women died in 1963 from botulism from canned tuna fish from the Washington Packing Corporation. Topic 1971 1971 Bon Vivant botulism outbreak in Vichy Soise manufactured by Bon Vivant Soup Company of Newark, New Jersey. Topic 1974 Salmonella in unpasteurized apple cider caused 200 illnesses in New Jersey. Topic 1977 Botulism in peppers served at the Trini and Carmen restaurant in Pontiac, Michigan, caused the largest outbreak of botulism poisonings in the United States up to that time. The peppers were canned at home by a former employee. Fifty-nine people were sickened. Topic 1978 Botulism in Clovis, New Mexico. 34 people who ate at a restaurant, Colonial Park Country Club, developed clinical botulism in the second largest outbreak in United States history. The outbreak was traced to either potato salad or a commercially prepared three bean salad served to a group attending a banquet. Despite a thorough search of the local landfill, the discarded three bean salad containers were never located, making it impossible to test them to confirm the source of contamination. All patients were hospitalized and 33 received trivalent botulinal antitoxin. There were two deaths. Topic 1983 Botulism type A Clostridium botulinum in Peoria, Illinois. 28 persons were hospitalized and 20 patients were treated with an antitoxin. Twelve patients required ventilatory support and one death resulted. The source was sautéed onions made from fresh raw onions served on a patty melt sandwich. The sandwiches were served at the Skewer Inn restaurant located inside Northwoods Mall. Topic 1985. 1985 California listeriosis outbreak in Queso Blanco in Southern California. The largest number of food poisoning deaths recorded in U.S. history since the CDC began keeping records in 1970 is traced to Mexican-style soft cheese. There were 52 deaths, including 19 stillbirths and 10 infant deaths. Jalisco cheese produced the contaminated cheese. 1985 United States salmonellosis outbreak in milk from the Hill Farm Dairy in Melrose Park, Illinois caused 16,284 confirmed, and possibly as many as 200,000 cases of food poisoning in six Midwest states. The tainted milk was responsible for two deaths and may have been related to the death of four or five others with some counts being as high as 12. At the time, this was considered the largest outbreak of salmonella food poisoning recorded in U.S. history since the CDC began keeping records in 1970. Topic 1992. Botulism in whitefish in New Jersey. Four members of a Fort Lee family were stricken with botulism after eating fish bought in Jersey City. Topic 1993. 
E. coli O157, H7 outbreak caused by undercooked hamburgers from Jack in the Box. Four children died and nearly 700 others became sick in the Seattle area and other parts of the Pacific Northwest. The outrage resulting from the deaths placed strong political pressure on Washington and resulted in new regulations from the USDA to reform century-old practices in the meat industry. The new regulations, titled Pathogen Reduction and Hazard Analysis and Critical Control Point Systems Final Rule, required a mandatory HACCP inspection system and microbial testing in meat processing plants. Topic. 1994 Salmonella in ice cream from Schwann Sales Enterprises of Marshall, Minnesota. Based upon the volume of ice cream produced, the number of consumers, and the attack rate amongst consumers, it is estimated that 29,100 people within Minnesota suffered from S. enteritidis gastroenteritis after eating Schwann's ice cream, and that since most of the ice cream produced during the outbreak was distributed outside Minnesota, as many as 224,000 people across the United States became sick. The contamination occurred when raw, unpasteurized eggs were hauled in a tanker truck that later carried pasteurized ice cream to the Schwann's plant. The ice cream premix wasn't pasteurized again after delivery to the plant. 1996 E. coli O157, H7 in unpasteurized apple juice from Odwalla. The company was using blemished fruit and ignored warnings from in-house safety experts and specialized in selling unpasteurized juices for their supposed health benefits. Seventy people in several U.S. states were stricken, mostly in the West, and in Canada. The outbreak caused one death, a 16-month-old girl from Colorado. E. coli O157, H7 in lettuce sickened at least 61 people in Illinois, Connecticut and New York in May and June 1996. 1997 Hepatitis A on frozen strawberries from Andrew and Williamson Sales Co., of San Diego, California. The strawberries were grown in Baja, California, Mexico and processed by A&W. Thousands of students from Arizona, California, Georgia, Iowa, Michigan, and Tennessee may have been exposed to the virus from eating strawberries in school lunches. Over 2.6 million pounds of strawberries were recalled. 1997 E. coli O157, H7 in ground beef from Hudson Foods Company of Rogers, Arkansas. Burger King was the largest client. The plant was in Columbus, Nebraska. The company recalled over 25 million pounds of ground beef it had manufactured, in the second largest recall in history. 1998. 1998 United States listeriosis outbreak was the third deadliest outbreak of foodborne illness. There were 14 deaths and four miscarriages or stillbirths in a listeria outbreak in hot dogs and cold cuts. Some sources put the death toll as high as 21. 1999 1999 Sunday Orchard Salmonellosis Outbreak in Unpasteurized Orange Juice. The juice was imported from Mexico in a tanker cooled with contaminated ice. E. coli O157, H7 was found in the drinking water at the Washington County Fair in Easton, New York. Over 700 people were affected and two people died. 2000. Salmonella in bean sprouts from Pacific Coast Sprout Farms. They bought dry seeds in China and Australia and when germinated, the sprouts caused an outbreak from Oregon to Massachusetts. At least 67 people became ill, and 17 were hospitalized. A young girl died and 65 other people were sickened in an E. coli O157, H7 outbreak in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The source of the outbreak was two sizzler restaurants that apparently allowed raw meat to come into contact with other food items. The infected meat was traced to the Excel Meat Packing Plant in Colorado. 
There were 19 confirmed cases, 19 likely cases, and 49 suspected cases of E. coli O157, H7 in Oregon in August. The cases were linked to a Wendy's restaurant, and although beef was the suspected vector of transmission, such a link was not conclusively shown. Topic 2002. E. coli O157, H7 in ground beef from Conagra, 19 people became ill in California, Colorado, Michigan, South Dakota, Washington and Wyoming as a result of eating tainted hamburger from a Conagra plant in Greeley, Colorado. The company recalled over 19 million pounds of ground beef it had manufactured, in the third largest recall in history. Listeria in processed turkey from Pilgrim's Pride. The company recalled over 27 million pounds of poultry products it had manufactured, in the largest recall in history. The outbreak killed seven people, sickened 46, and caused three miscarriages. Botulism sickened eight people in western Alaska as a result of eating a beached beluga whale. 57 people in seven states became ill in August and September after consuming meat contaminated with E. coli O157, H7. The tainted meat originated at the meat packing plant Empac Foods. Empac recalled 2.8 million pounds of ground beef in the aftermath of the outbreak. 2003 The 2003 United States Hepatitis A outbreak was the worst Hepatitis A outbreak in U.S. history, with more than 660 people infected, including four fatalities. The infection was from green onions served at Chi Chi's restaurants in Pennsylvania and West Virginia. 2006 E. coli O157, H7 from Taco Bell in South Plainfield, New Jersey and Long Island. 39 people in central New Jersey and on Long Island were sickened and suffered from hemolytic uremic syndrome. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention at first believed the E. coli O157, H7 to be in the green onions. The FDA on December 13, 2006 said it could not confirm that scallions were the cause of the problem, as previously suspected, and that it was not ruling out any food as a possible culprit. It was later suspected that infected lettuce was the cause. 2006 North American E. coli outbreak. E. coli O157, H7 in bagged organic spinach packaged by Natural Selection Foods and most likely supplied by Earthbound Farm in San Juan Bautista, three dead, and 198 people reported sickened by the outbreak across 25 U.S. states, and one person reported sickened by the outbreak in Ontario. 2007. On December 27, the Massachusetts Department of Public Health warned not to drink milk or milk-related products from Whittier Farms in Shrewsbury, MA due to a listeria bacteria contamination that resulted in two deaths. On October 11, food manufacturer Conagra asked stores to pull its banquet and generic brand chicken and turkey pot pies due to 152 cases of salmonella poisoning in 31 states being linked to the consumption of Conagra pot pies, with 20 people hospitalized. By October 12, a full recall was announced, affecting all varieties of frozen pot pies sold under the brands Banquet, Albertsons, Food Lion, Great Value, Hill Country Fair, Kirkwood, Kroger, Meyer, and Western Family. The recalled pot pies included all varieties in 7 Oz, single-serving packages bearing the number P9 or S1059, printed on the side of the package. E. coli O157, H7 in ground beef from the Topps Meat Company in Elizabeth, New Jersey. As of 2007, it is the second largest beef recall in United States history. Salmonella in Metz Fresh, California spinach. Recalled 8,000 cartons of fresh spinach. No reports of any illness. Botulism from cans of Castleberries, Ostex and Kroger brands of chili sauce. In total, over 25 different brands of a variety of products were recalled by Castleberry's Food Company. The best by dates for the affected products range from April 30, 2009, through May 22, 2009. 
The contamination by the toxin is extremely rare for commercially canned products. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention medical epidemiologist Dr. Michael Lynch said the last such U.S. case dates to the 1970s. The roughly 25 cases reported each year were mainly from home canned foods. Salmonella from Peter Pan and Great Value Peanut Butter both manufactured by Conagra in 44 states. By March 7, 2007, the outbreak had grown to 425 cases in 44 states since its start in August 2006. The CDC said it is believed to be the first salmonella outbreak associated with peanut butter in United States history. In April and May, 14 people in 11 states were sickened after eating E. coli O157, H7 tainted beef packed by United Food Group. The meat packing company ultimately recalled 5.7 million pounds of potentially contaminated meat. Topic 2008 2008 United States Salmonellosis Outbreak. As of August 28, 2008, from April 10, 2008, the rare St. Paul serotype of Salmonella enterica caused at least 1442 cases of salmonellosis food poisoning in 43 states throughout the United States, the District of Columbia, and Canada. As of July 2008, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration suspects that the contaminated food product is a common ingredient in fresh salsa, such as raw tomato, fresh jalapeno pepper, fresh serrano pepper, and fresh cilantro. It is the largest reported salmonellosis outbreak in the United States since 1985. During a House subcommittee hearing into food supply safety and the recent salmonella contamination, a top federal official told panel members that agencies have found the source of the contamination after it showed up in yet another batch of Mexican-grown peppers. Adam Acheson, Food and Drug Administration Associate Commissioner for Foods, said the FDA tracked the salmonella positive test to serrano peppers and irrigation water at a packing facility in Nuevo Leon, Mexico, and a grower in Tamaulipas. New Mexico and Texas were proportionally the hardest hit by far, with 49.7 and 16.1 reported cases per million, respectively. The greatest number of reported cases have occurred in Texas 384 reported cases, New Mexico 98, Illinois 100, and Arizona 49. There have been at least 203 reported hospitalizations linked to the outbreak, it has caused at least one death, and it may have been a contributing factor in at least one additional death. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC maintains that it is likely many more illnesses have occurred than those reported. If applying a previous CDC estimated ratio of non-reported salmonellosis cases to reported cases 38.6, 1, one would arrive at an estimated 40,273 illnesses from this outbreak. 2009. An aggressive strain of salmonella, the Newport serotype, was found in beef products made by a Fresno, California-based unit of Cargill Beef Packers Inc. in August 2009, resulting in a large recall. Salmonellosis in peanut butter from Peanut Corporation of America in Blakely, Georgia has become one of the nation's worst known outbreaks of food-borne disease in recent years. Nine are believed to have died and an estimated 22,500 were sickened. Criminal negligence has been alleged after product tested positive then retested negative by a second testing agency and shipped on several occasions the product was in turn used by dozens of other manufacturers in hundreds of other products which have had to be recalled the ceo of peanut corporation of america was sentenced to 28 years in prison for his role in the outbreak e coli o157 h7 was believed to have contaminated nestle toll house refrigerated cookie dough nestle recalled its products after the fda reported there was a possibility that the e coli o157 h7 outbreak which sickened at least 66 people in 28 states might be a result of raw cookie dough consumption According to Marlar Clark, the number of illnesses reached 70 in 30 states by June 23, 2009, with 35 hospitalizations required, and seven cases of hemolytic uremic syndrome. The products which were originally believed to have been tainted came from a Danville, Virginia plant. 
However, no E. coli O157, H7 has been found in the plant, according to the FDA. Many media sources have failed to report that E. coli contamination has not been confirmed in Nestlé products. The CDC has reported that ground beef is a likely source of the contamination. Topic 2010. More than 500 million eggs were recalled after dangerous levels of salmonella were detected in the eggs of two Iowa producers, Wright County Egg and Hillendale Farm, that distribute eggs in 14 U.S. states. Nearly 2,000 illnesses were reported between May and July, approximately 1,300 more than usual for this strain of the bacteria. Jack Decaster and Peter Decaster have pleaded guilty to the distribution of adulterated eggs in interstate commerce and quality egg admitted to falsifying expiration dates on egg cartons, as well as to two attempts to bribe a USDA inspector in August 2010, the company recalled 380 million eggs in connection with a salmonella outbreak, and a related company, Hillendale Farms, recalled 170 million eggs. 2011 In 2011, the United States saw an outbreak of listeriosis from cantaloupes from Colorado that lasted from July to September. 30 people died, making it the second deadliest recorded U.S. outbreak since the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention began tracking outbreaks in the 1970s. In June 2011, 20 people fell ill from eating cantaloupe from Del Monte fresh produce infected with Salmonella Panama from Guatemala. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention had found that eight of the people sickened had eaten cantaloupes purchased from Costco, and they used the purchase records to figure out that the food in common was cantaloupes, and they had come from the same Guatemalan farm. Del Monte went to court to lift the import ban by the Food and Drug Administration. An investigation found that a pipe carrying raw sewage emptied into an open ditch about 110 yards from the farm's packing house. Andrew Williamson Fresh Produce voluntarily recalls one lot of organic grape tomatoes sold under the limited edition and fresh and easy labels due to a possible health risk from salmonella. Emporia, Kansas-based Tyson Fresh Meats Tyson Foods announces it is recalling 131,300 pounds of ground beef products due to possible E. coli O157, H7 contamination. Publix Supermarkets issues a voluntary recall for spinach dip because it may be adulterated with Listeria monocytogenes. Roundy's Supermarkets Inc., a Milwaukee, Wisconsin-based company with an establishment in Kenosha, Wisconsin, is recalling 360 pounds of breaded chicken breast products, that should have been fully cooked, because they may have been undercooked. E. coli in strawberries from Newburgh, Oregon killed one person on August 8, 2011. The Oregon Health Authority announced that they had linked at least 10 E. coli infections to a strawberry farm in Newburgh, Oregon. Four patients had been hospitalized and an elderly woman died from kidney failure associated with her E. coli illness. The strawberries were sold to buyers who resold them at roadside stands and farmers markets. One dead in California from salmonella and 76 more people sickened in 26 states. On August 3, 2011, Cargill recalled 36 million pounds of fresh and frozen ground turkey products produced at the company's Springdale, Arkansas, facility from February 20, 2011, through August 2, 2011, due to possible contamination from Salmonella Heidelberg. In March and April 2011, Jenny O. recalled almost 55,000 pounds of turkey burgers because drug-resistant Salmonella was found in its products. In June 2011, nearly 3,000 cases of Dole Food Company salad bags were recalled after a random test found the bacteria Listeria monocytogenes in a bag of the salad. Contaminated papaya appears to be the cause of an outbreak of salmonella food poisoning in 23 states. The Food and Drug Administration FDA is warning consumers. The FDA says papayas imported from Mexico and distributed by Agromod Produce Inc. of McAllen, Texas, is likely the source of 97 cases of Salmonella agona. To date, 10 people have been hospitalized but there have been no reported deaths. As a result, all papayas sold before Saturday, July 23, 2011, have been voluntarily recalled by Agromod. The cases were reported between January 1 and July 18 in Arkansas, Arizona, California, Colorado, Georgia, Illinois, Louisiana, Massachusetts, Minnesota, Missouri, Nebraska, Nevada, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, Ohio. 
Oklahoma, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, Texas, Virginia, Washington and Wisconsin. While ages ranged from 1 year to 91 years old, the average age of those stricken is 20. More than half of the cases are women. Texas had the most cases with 25 people falling ill. Topic 2012 The 2012 salmonella outbreak has caused sickness in hundreds of people in the Netherlands and the United States via salmonella tainted salmon. The 2012 peanut butter recall, peanut butter and other products manufactured by Sunland Inc. caused sickness of 41 people in 20 states in the U.S. via salmonella tainted products. 2012 Organic Greens E. coli outbreak O157, H733 People across several states were infected by a strain of E. coli that produces Shiga toxin, which is thought to have been transferred to the species from the Shigella bacterium, by a bacteriophage, a kind of virus that, as the name implies, eats bacteria. Topic 2013. July, August. The E. coli O157, H7 outbreak at Federico's Mexican restaurant in Litchfield Park, Arizona, a suburb of Phoenix, has now grown to include 79 people. At least 23 people have been hospitalized in this outbreak. This is now the largest E. coli outbreak in the United States in years. At least two people have developed hemolytic uremic syndrome HUS, a severe complication of an E. coli O157, H7 infection that can destroy the kidneys. Symptoms of an E. coli infection include severe stomach cramps, diarrhea that may be bloody and or watery, fever, nausea, and vomiting. Symptoms of HUS are the same as E. coli symptoms but include pale skin tone, small, unexplained bruises, bleeding from the nose and mouth, decreased urination, blood in the urine, and swelling. Victims have filed three civil suits against Federico's parent company, Femex LLC, in Maricopa County Superior Court, October to November. A company that makes prepared chicken salad has recalled more than 180,000 pounds of its products after some were linked to a few cases of Escherichia coli, e. coli infection. CA-based Glass Onion Catering has recalled products distributed to AS, CA, NV, NM, OR, TX, UT, and WA, the U.S. Department of Agriculture USDA says. So far, 26 people in three states have been diagnosed with the same E. coli O157, H7 infection. The USDA says 15 of them say they ate products traced to Glass Onion Catering, which supplies mid-sized grocery store chains such as Trader Joe's with gourmet grab and go products, many featuring grilled chicken. Chicken is rarely contaminated with E. coli. Most E. coli strains are harmless and even beneficial, but the aforementioned strain can cause abdominal cramps, diarrhea which may be or become bloody, and dehydration. In most, that is the extent of any illness, but in some young, old, or immunocompromised patients, it can lead to widespread infection sepsis, and or a severe disease of the kidneys called hemolytic uremic syndrome HUS, which can lead to kidney failure, which may be deadly. Topic 2014. One person died and three newborns became ill in an outbreak of listeria (listeriosis) linked to Hispanic-style cheese. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention (CDC) said on Friday, February 21, 2014, that the death occurred in California. Seven additional illnesses were reported in Maryland. All of the Maryland victims reported eating soft or semi-soft Hispanic-style cheese that they purchased at different locations of the same grocery store chain. Listeria was later detected in a sample of Cajada and Tehran, or fresh cheese curd, purchased at that chain. The CDC says three of the victims are newborns. Two of those ill are mothers of two of the ill newborns. The agency says the cheese was probably produced by Roos Foods of Kenton, Delaware. As of May 16, 2014, 11 cases of E. coli O157, H7 in four states Massachusetts, Michigan, Missouri, and Ohio from tainted ground beef from Wolverine Packing Company of Detroit, Michigan. 2015 In March 2015, organic food company Amy's Kitchen voluntarily recalled 74.000 cases of its products that could contain listeria, due to contaminated organic spinach. 
In August through September 2015, over 300 people were infected with salmonella. The bulk of the cases were in California and Arizona with the states of California and Texas having one fatality each. It was traced to cucumbers from Mexico distributed by Andrew and Williamson Fresh Produce who, on September 4, 2015, voluntarily issued a recall. In October through November 2015, 45 people contracted E. coli from Chipotle Mexican Grill restaurants. The cases were in Washington State, California, Minnesota, New York, Ohio, and Oregon. At least 16 were hospitalized. The outbreak warranted the closing and sanitization of over 40 Chipotle restaurants across Washington and Oregon. The restaurants have since reopened after discarding all supplies and ordering fresh ingredients. Topic 2016. In April 2016, CRF Frozen Foods recalled over 400 organic and traditional frozen food products sold under 40 different brands due to contamination with Listeria monocytogenes. The outbreak was linked to eight cases of listeriosis in the United States. Topic 2017. In April 2017, a contained outbreak of the botulism toxin was confirmed in California, linked to a cheese sauce. There was no recall of the product. 2018 Hickory Harvest Foods announced a recall of organic nut mix, potentially infected by Listeria monocytogenes in May 2018. 2018 multi-state E. coli outbreak via romaine lettuce from Yuma O157, H7 was an outbreak that is known to have affected 210 people in many states, killing five. On November 20, 2018, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA, and Health Canada announced that they were investigating a multistate binational outbreak of pathogenic Escherichia coli O157, H7 E, coli O157, H7 infections linked to romaine lettuce. This outbreak was separate from the previous outbreak traced to Yuma, as See also List of foodborne illness outbreaks by death toll List of foodborne illness outbreaks countries other than the United States